Well, g'day and welcome back, friends, to uh, Camp Krakatini. Um, here we are again in another video. Uh, coming out shortly, we're going to be doing some more work on the uh, cabin here for the boathouse. Um, so a couple of days ago when we first got here, myself and my 80-year-old neighbor, he decided to uh, take me out to show a um, show me a new beautiful settlement um, in the area. Um, and thank you very much for the big response and uh, lots of views on my last video of the uh, Bannon homestead there. Uh, it's a beautiful property. So anyway, on our way out to this other uh, location, um, my big one-ton truck decided to break through a soft surface uh, as we passed by a lake. Everything looked dry, crusty, normal track, and then we broke through. We were 40 kilometers up in the middle of nowhere. Um, so after a very long and late hike out, uh, we both did very well, actually. Um, he's uh, <laughs> very fit for an 80-year-old man, and uh, I'm just like a truck. I just keep on trucking. So, uh, but my, uh, my foot was a a little worse for wear, so a couple of days of rest. Here we are again, ready to go. Um, so without that wonderful other location we have, um, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna, we're gonna take you up to, just off the back of my property here, there's a very mysterious little cabin. Um, anyway, let's hold on, head on up. We're gonna take the six by six, so we're not gonna get bogged today. And um, I'll, chat again when we get there and I'll uh, tell you why it's so mysterious and uh, how kind of cool and neat it is. Now it's certainly not a big uh, big cabin or location like the last video but uh, it's going to be a quick little video update and um, let's go ahead and on up there. guys so here we are it's followed me up with the uh, the new drone that we have to get some uh, better footage here so here we are on the very just off the back end of my property and uh, we have this little beautiful I think it's about a hmm, 12 by 12 little cabin and um, I've asked all the locals and no one locally here seems to know this thing even exists um, the best I got was someone thought they might have known something and maybe one of the locals a um, little further down the lake no longer around um, one summer many many years ago possibly 20 plus years ago I uh, came up here with a couple of local kids and um, constructed this is a bit of a summer fun project uh, it's the best I've got it doesn't look like there was ever a roof on it uh, just the walls walls are about you know, six foot high um, yeah, let's take a walk, walk around. Now, it's certainly not as spectacular as the last one, but it's curious and interesting and just off the back of my property. 
I may uh, do something with this eventually. I'm thinking maybe of just putting a, an open window layer, lumber layer all the way around, put a flat roof on it, and um, maybe somewhere for the grandkids one day eventually to come and play, or even a hunting blind. Because um, we do get a lot of deer through here. All right, let's take a walk around, take a look. All right, so a little bit of a side note here. Um, about seven years ago, we had a big bushfire come through and uh, the bulldozers came through to build a um, uh, a fire line and just past that big fallen tree there which is just recently fallen um, there's a fire line goes up to the left and just just behind this little clump of trees kind of where whoop, that big rock is through there uh, the bulldozer went off the side into this ravine now, if the cameras, as usual, don't really show how steep this is. Now, this little hill I've been up and down with the UTV, it's not as steep as the little section over there that the bulldozer went down, which was almost vertical. Um, but when the bulldozer came back this way, he came back up this way, because it wasn't as steep as the other one. But uh, those, those guys in the bulldozers with the wildfires are pretty amazing. Um, so I can pretty much, for that wildfire that came through, I think it was the 9,000 hectares, um, I can walk out my back door and the, the fire line basically started at my back door. They bulldozed my property. So anyway, a little side note there. Let's wander over to the cabin. If you want to call it a cabin, but as I say, it doesn't look like it's had an official roof on there. Very simple notches. Maybe it was, I, I, I don't know the story, maybe it was built possibly as a little trapper's cabin. But I think the story more than likely is the one that I kind of partially heard that uh, possibly one of the local gentlemen got together with some local kids. This is a bit of a fun summer project. And, uh, and put this together. Nothing fancy about those notches. Super quick, simple. Gotta keep a look out around here. We've had a bear around lately. Hey, so be neat. I could I got some concrete blocks, I could jack it up about a foot, put a floor in there. Like do an open window all the way around. Put a flat roof on it, a little bit of sod. Have ourselves a little hunting blind and fun hangout. Come through the door. It's hard to get back in. So it's only about 12 foot, 12 foot square, if that. Not a big tour this time, but uh, hope you enjoy this little cabin. These little cabins are everywhere up here. Everywhere. So, over time, probably less in the winter, I plan on getting out and sharing these little gems. Some, some as little and storyless like this one, or uh, some of the bigger stuff. As I say, we'll, we'll try and get back out next week. Well guys, thanks again for uh, stopping by. Camp Krakatini. There we go. Good old revival Corona. Always got a couple in the fridge. We'll get a little more experimental with some other beers. Of course I love all sorts of beer I'm Australian. Anyway, thanks for coming along. That was our little mystery cabin that's uh, just off the back end of the property up there. Um, this cabin behind me here is our guest cabin. We call it the uh, seniors resident. Seniors residence. Um, comment below if you want to uh, want a little tour of this little uh, log cabin we have on our property. Um, mostly used by my parent-in-laws. Uh, they're more than welcome to come and stay anytime they want, and they do. Um, and uh, yeah. 
like and subscribe. Thank you very much for the, uh, the huge viewing on that last video. Um, hopefully next time I'm up in the next week or so, um, I'll be able to get out to that location finally where we got Bob trying to get to. Um, because I hear that is going to be a pretty amazing place. So uh, stick around, like and subscribe if you uh, want to see more videos. I got a little bit done on the uh, boathouse cabin that I'm building. Not worth uh, videoing any of that. Uh, we spent a lot of the week running around picking up uh, lumber from the um, from the mill, and we'll do lots of little odds and ends this week. Um, plus, I was a little bit lame after that hike out. So, see you next time. Thank you very much. Cheers.